Hey, I'm so happy, doctor, that you could uh, take out uh, some time and uh, join us today on the eve of Teachers Day. Uh, so, guys, this is uh, Dr. Akila Vinod from Kuwait, and she is a certified uh, yoga therapist, a naturopath, and an NLP practitioner. Uh, she has been a great motivation for me this lockdown through her channel on YouTube, and I welcome her to my channel today to uh, give us some, uh, you know, uh, to give us something to the teachers, you know, so a gift to the teachers uh, on this day. So welcome, uh, ma'am, to my uh, YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Pradipa, uh, Professor Pradipa, uh, for giving me this opportunity. And it's my privilege to address and uh, present a talk on yoga and lifestyle modification in your platform of students and teachers. So, yeah, let's try to get into the topic rather than dragging a lot. Yes, yes. yes. So, uh, first question to you, in fact, in this lockdown from us teachers will be that we are spending so much of time in front of the uh, laptop or our mobile phones, you know. So, we've had a big, big transition from the classroom uh, to this digital platform. So, uh, we do face a lot of strain in our eyes. You know, because not only us, in fact, students out there across the world are spending long hours in front of these gadgets. Some have two hours, like, you know, for us, it is like two to four hours in a day, but teachers have around eight hours and students, in fact, are spending longer time. So what would you suggest, doctor, that what can we do as a routine uh, to keep our eyes healthy? So that's the first and foremost uh, thing that we have to discuss in a digital world problems, especially. Right. So the first uh, organ which is getting affected is our sense organ because uh, after all, uh, once we visualize only we will be able to see people and to hear people, we have to obviously uh, see the cam, right? Or uh, the webcam. Uh, as the screen is uh, uh, giving you more radiation, the more problematic it is. And sometimes students, um, you know, they don't have a laptop and they stick into small mobiles. So that will have a lot of uh, strain for their eyes because they have to get, uh, you know, into that small letters. They have yeah. to make it very So they don't have a big screen. So big screen, again, the problem is the radiations from that. Yeah. So the, uh, as a, from a technology person and expert, uh, that I just read somewhere, that you have to always do a setting called as, you know, you have to have that blue filter to reduce because you have to, first of all, they have to do something with their laptop itself. So they have to have the blue filter on and that's how you can reduce some uh, brightness from the screen itself. Mm. And try uh, to shift from a small mobile or a tab uh, to a better, a uh, bigger screen. So these are two uh, options from the technology expert. Coming to my area, uh, there are certain exercises that obviously that will help your uh, with your digital eye strain. Uh, and I recommend most of the students they if they don't have to listen, uh, if they don't have to visualize a teacher or they if it's not mathematics. They can just keep their earplugs uh, in their ear and they can just keep their uh, head down for some time. So that, you know, continuous staring of the eyes can be reduced, uh, first thing. Yeah. The second one option, I can give you a lifestyle modification. Uh, for example, you have the used tea bags, green tea bags, right? That you can just keep it uh, above your study table. And uh, whenever there is a relaxation or a break, break time given, or for the teachers, this is uh, this is for teachers and students. And together, I'm uh, giving the tips. Uh, they can just keep it above their eyes, and they can just keep their head back, rest, and they can just lie down. Okay. Or they can go to cucumber slices. So either of these two will help. Also, one more option is aloe vera gel. So they can just apply it down their eyes so to reduce the dark circles. And also, the, it cools you because a lot of heat is generated uh, around your eyes and socket. So right. this comes from the uh, lifestyle or naturopathy treatments, I can tell you. Yeah, yeah. Then, 
for yoga exercises there are a lot of eye exercises that yeah, can be I've watched your video i think you have a video uploaded on that yeah. so we can put the put it in the description box yes so yeah so you uh, paste it uh, you know the link of it digital yes. eye uh, the uh, the same term i have mentioned and uh, i have given a special uh, session live on this problem okay. okay so coming to the digital eye problem first thing you have to do is you have to be in an upright position you can if you want you can do it with me yeah. and then the exercise what you can do is maybe the teacher is speaking there but still you know the students can just go for right you know like this left right left when you do this uh, you have to really op wide open your eyes it should yeah. not be like you got it. Uh, this is not uh, okay. open eyes. So then, are you feeling a little bit pressure getting inside yeah. your eyes? Yeah. The same. So you have to wide open. Then go for right, left, right, left for five times. Okay. Then you shut your eyes very tight, and then open. Again, shut and open like this. So that what happens? That dark area mm. help you to relax the screen timing. Okay, Very then uh, they go for up, down, up, down, the same type of movement, but it's like up and down. Mm -hmm. And then they can go for right, up, corner, left, down, corner. So sometimes, you know, when you have a sinus pain, you you get a small pain on the side. Uh -huh, okay. Right. Right up, left down. Right up, left down. And left up, right down. Left up, right down. I'm just uh, making it a little fast because... Uh, I have to give you a lot of solution. So right. I'll stick on to movements. Then what you have to do is, after this, you have to do a palming of your hands to produce the heat. Oh. Like this. After some time, what happens? There will be a little bit of heat produced. Then you have to make a cup of your hand and then you have to suck that area of, uh, you know, that socket. You get to suck it and take it out. Okay? So you are see you are making a vacuum here uh. and then you do it so you will hear a sound if you do it properly mm. okay so that time it will be very very cooling for you uh, when you have this kind of uh, exercise between your training session yeah so you get okay. relaxed basically a relaxed feeling because you know the eyes were focusing a bright light and after that suddenly one dark space is coming so Correct. the eyes is you know feel so cool about it then the next one what you can do is sometimes you get droopy eyelids you yeah, know after yeah. staring right affects your looking part even especially the uh, you know uh, female students uh, you know the girls uh, who is listening to me uh, they will be very much worried about their dark circles and uh, yeah, yeah. droopy eyes so it's for them they can what they can do not only for the you know even the boys are very very conscious beauty conscious these days yeah so they can just block the eyebrows just down hope you can see this yeah yeah so yeah. you are just down your eyebrows and then you are looking down right down corner left down corner right down left down so what is happening is your eyelids are stretching you know that mm -hmm. small part is even getting a stretch Correct. got it so for uh, yoga and exercises you know the bigger parts are getting stretched but right. we are not focused on the small small parts of course okay so this is another one i'll uh, i have few more i'll just uh, make it fast like 20 20 20 rule uh, that is a new uh, method of uh, giving relaxation for this one all the ophthalmologists and eye experts and all over the world, WHO, they, uh, they are also promoting, I feel, these days. 2020 rule is nothing but 20 feet away. You have to watch after every, after every 20 seconds of the session, okay? Uh, after every 20 minutes of the session, sorry, you mm -hmm. have to tear a 20 feet away object for 20 seconds. Oh, got it. After something very nice. 20, okay. So after every 20 minutes of a uh, lecture, mm. they have to stay. Maybe you can visualize or uh, you can just watch out a building uh, through your window. 
Mm. You just watch it. You are always focusing nearby object. Ah, oh, correct. Got yeah. It. So you have to visualize some twenty feet away object for twenty seconds, okay. and then come back. Got it. And yeah. another one, I uh, what I suggest for the small small kids. You know, they love love to see everything very uh, near. And they watch a lot of tab, and you know, even us, uh, not only ch children, all of us, they are, we are all comfortable in watching everything very near. We are mm -hmm. not very far. And yeah. now these days, developing a problem of watching far objects. You don't, you can't read something on that, you know, corner of your building. You can't yeah. read anything. So what I suggest is, uh, kids, they have to. Practice something called as a thumb, uh, you know, this some, something like a thumb uh, method. So what you have to do is, I just keep my thumb as the second object, and this is the first object. This object can be something like a statue, which is uh, in your I want to say cupboard or somewhere. Okay. So you have to visualize, uh, see, watch, and observe, concentrate on this nearby object. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you have to visualize that object in your eyes for another. So this is like concept, and you have to do it faster. So okay. near, near, far, near, far, near, far, like this. So what happens? Your eyes will get adapted to the near and far object. Later, mm -hmm. you will not develop for the far object. Okay. So these are some of the tips uh, that you can adopt in your day-to-day -day life. Okay. Oh, that's really nice, especially the 2020-20. I think it was. Something it was a great eye opener for us. Let's put it that way. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay.